Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hey guys, Jen Hillman here, and I've got a follow along yoga video for you today. We are going to be focusing on loosening up tension through the neck and shoulders. I know that's a problem area for most people out there, so this is going to be a great video to help target this whole area. We're going to be seated the whole time, so you can do this video anywhere. You can do it sitting at your desk, you can do it sitting on a couch, you can do it sitting in your bed or sitting on the floor. Wherever you are, just find a nice comfortable seat and we will go ahead and get started. So to start, we're going to just loosen up the neck by lowering your right ear to your right shoulder. And just notice here how the sensation feels in your left side of your neck. So there's a little gentle stretch here. And to take this stretch a little bit further, reach your right hand up and over and bring your left hand to your left shoulder. Uh, sometimes people have told me they don't quite have the flexibility to put their hand here. So you can bring your hand in front and place your hand here. So either way, just bring your left hand to your left shoulder and then gently apply a little traction to gently assist yourself in taking this stretch a bit deeper. So we're just gonna breathe here for a few moments. So I was giving some massages yesterday and I got to massage a celebrity yesterday. It was very exciting. Maybe some of you guys remember Rebecca Lobey. She was on the very first season of The Voice. So I was really excited for her and excited to get to massage her yesterday. And I was just wondering, like, who are you guys' favorite people from The Voice? Do you still watch that show? Who do you love? Who's your favorite? And don't you think, I think Karina should be on The Voice, right? She would totally win. <laughs> Let's come up and over to the left side. So just gently coming back to center. Then you'll start to lower your left ear to your left shoulder. And we just pause here for a moment and just take notice. How does it feel? Then bring your left hand up and over and your right hand to your right shoulder. And gently pull your hands apart, stretching into the right side of your neck. So I know that um, the voice kind of stepped in over American Idol. Do you guys still watch American Idol or are you more the voice fans? I'm a little out of the loop, so you gotta catch me up and let me know what's cool, you guys. I'm just doing yoga all the time. <laughs> uh, leave your comments below. It's always great to hear from you guys. It's nice to know our videos are reaching people. Gently release and bring your head back to center. So already you're just going to start feeling a little bit more loose than when we started just a moment ago. We've got a lot more stretches for you guys. I'm going to start stretching into the back of your neck by lowering your chin down to your chest. And so again, just take a moment and notice the subtle stretching across the back of your neck. And then we'll take it a little bit deeper by interlacing your hands at the back of your head. Then lower your elbows towards the floor and let the weight of your arms apply a gentle traction along the back of your neck. So I don't know about you guys, but this is feeling really good for me today. Definitely feels good to stretch out the muscles in the backs of your neck. And you can gently roll your head slightly from side to side. And just notice how it increases the stretch from one side to the other. It's pretty nice. 
So just find that juicy hot spot where it feels the best and breathe into it. And you can get even more out of this stretch by gently rounding your shoulders forward. This is going to take the stretch further down your spine. back up to center. And let's just gently roll your head around in some circles. You don't have to go fast. It's better if you take your time. And try and feel every little inch of this movement. Every little centimeter for everyone who's watching this video not in the United States. <laughs> Roll your head in the other way. Come all the way back to center. So we're going to start doing a little bit of mobilization from side to side. So look to your right, and then look to your left, and look to the right, and look to the left. So you're going to look as far as you can to give you a little stretch through your spine. Right. So we're gonna do one of my favorite exercises. This is Karina's favorite too, she loves it. We call this one the face smush. Woo! <laughs> so I want you to turn your chin towards the right side. Then bring your right hand up to your right cheek. Now press your hand into your cheek and press your cheek back into your hand. So you're creating resistance and a really great smush face. So press, 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 press. Then release your hand and see if you can turn your chin a little bit further. It's kind of like magic. And let's come to the left side. You've got to smush both sides. So turn your chin to the left. Notice how far you can turn. And bring your hand up to your left cheek. Press your cheek into your hand. Press your hand into your cheek. Smush face. Hopefully there are lots of people around that can see you right now. Maybe they're pointing and laughing. That's great. Maybe you're on a YouTube video in front of millions of people. That's cool too. Press, press. And then release and see if you can turn just a bit further. Awesome. Let's come back to center. So another important part of getting into this neck and upper body is stretching into your shoulders as well. So let's take a tricep stretch. Reach your right arm up to the sky, then bend your elbow so your hand comes back behind your neck. Reach up with your left hand to grab that right elbow and give a little pull, stretching into your triceps and into your shoulders too. And just breathe, keep sitting up nice and tall wherever you are, so don't slouch in your seat. 
Sit up nice and tall, lift through your spine. And then release the right side and switch. So you're going to bend your left elbow then reach across with your right hand, grab your left elbow and pull. Ooh, it's a little tighter on this left side for me. <laughs> It's really common that people hold tension in different places from one side to the other. So don't be surprised if you notice that it's different from one side to the other. It's really normal. Just breathe and stretch. your left arm. Now bring your right arm across your chest and again use your left hand on your right elbow to pull your right arm across. So you might get a little stretch into your tricep again. Also across the deltoids, that's the muscles across your shoulders. Maybe even starting to feel a stretch in your rhomboids those are the muscles between your spine and your shoulder blade. So a lot of people carry tension in there as well. So wherever you're feeling this stretch, just breathe and let it open. And gently release and switch. Bring your left arm across. Grab a hold of your elbow with your right hand and pull your arm across your chest. While we're stretching into our arms, let's just go ahead and stretch into our forearms and wrists. So take a hold of your fingers, pull them back as you press your palm forward. This is going to give you a stretch through your forearms here. So you might ask yourself, why would I stretch my arms if I'm trying to work out my neck and shoulders? But the truth is that all of our muscles are connected and they're part of one complete system called your body. <laughs> so stretching out tension through your wrists and hands has an effect on how your shoulders and neck and spine feel. Then turn your palm over, grab the top of your hand, and pull towards you. So now you're stretching the tops of your forearms and your wrists. And oftentimes people don't think about having tension in your forearms or your hands, but if you spend time at a computer like you are right now, <laughs> if you spend time at a desk or if you write a lot, if you're a student studying over books and all these kinds of things are going to build tension in your wrists and hands. We don't ever think about it, but it's there. So release the right side and let's take the left. So press your palm forward and I guarantee that as you start to move into these stretches, you're going to start to become aware of some, ten ten of some tension you didn't even know was there. That's really common. So it's a nice discovery of what's happening in your body. There's a whole universe in here that needs your attention. So if you wanted to just watch this video and you're not actually doing it, come on, just sit there and stretch your wrists and hands. It's going to feel awesome and your body is going to thank you for it. <laughs> then let's turn your palm over. 
Grab onto the back side of your hand and pull towards you, stretching into your wrists. Work. Just roll your wrists around a few times in the other way. Great. Now let's take a little twist here. Just twist through your spine. Bring your right hand across to your left knee. Grow tall and twist. Turn your gaze all the way over your left shoulder so that it stretches into your neck. And come back to center and switch to the other side. Bring your left hand across, lift up nice and tall and twist. Turn your gaze all the way to the right And just breathe while you twist and stretch. And make your way back to center. I'm gonna take a little side body stretch here. So reach your left hand all the way out to the left and reach your right arm up and over. This is gonna give you a stretch across the side of your ribs, and the side of your waist. Really reach through your right hand, really, really reach. So no chicken arms, no like dead fish arms. Reach all the way so that your whole body is engaged. Stretching over. We'll come all the way up and then walk your right arm over to the right as far as you can and stretch up and over with the left arm reach through your left fingertips all the way stretching Roll your shoulders around a few times, making big circles with your shoulders. And then come forward, reversing the circles. Just getting some movement in there. And let's roll your head again. And notice how it might feel different than when we started. Hopefully it's feeling a little more loose. Reverse directions. And come back to stillness. Now one final thing we're gonna do in our stretch video today. This is really the best part, you guys, is a little bit of self-massage. So just start with your right side and just start to squeeze the tops of your shoulders here. So this is actually the top part of your trapezius muscle. And this is where we get a lot of trigger points, a lot of knots and hold a lot of tension. So I'm just using my hand and just squeezing just like this, super easy. And you can apply as much pressure as you need. That's one of the best things about self-massage is you know how much pressure you need. You know where it feels good. 
So just squeeze in there. And if you notice any knots in the tops of your shoulders, just using your finger pads, just make some circles there, little circles pressing into those tight knots. I know it's always better if you can have someone massage for you, but that's not always an option. <laughs> so we got to do it for ourselves sometimes. And just squeeze it out. And we'll do the left. So move your hair out of the way if you've got long hair. Maybe move some clothing out of the way if you need to. And just start to squeeze a few places on your left shoulder, wherever you feel it, wherever it's tight, just work into it, squeeze it. Squeeze it good. <laughs> yeah, it feels really nice. And then again, if you have any knots in there, you're gonna feel them using your finger pads. Just make a few circles in there. You don't have to use a lot of pressure, but you can use as much pressure as you need to really get in there and work into those tight spots. You're gonna feel them, for sure. You know, don't be fooled. I, it seems like I'm making these videos for you guys, but... <laughs> Maybe I'm doing it for me because it feels pretty good to me too. <laughs> yeah. And then just squeeze out that left shoulder a little bit more. Yeah, and then we can release. So just this little bit of time is all it takes to loosen up your neck and shoulders. And we even did some stuff to loosen up your spine as well. So whenever you're feeling tired, you start to feel tension building up in your neck and shoulders, just come back to this video. It doesn't take very long. It's not a huge commitment. All you have to do is just press play and follow along with me and you're gonna feel so much better in just a few short minutes. Thank you so much for watching and joining me today. I hope you favorited this video so it's easy to find when you need it later. And you can visit my website, jenhillman.com, to learn more about me and my practice. And don't forget to subscribe to the Psyche Truth channel. There's lots of great videos here for you, and we want to make sure you get access and all the updates and all the info about great new videos coming out. Leave your comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're feeling better, and I'll see you next time.